we've managed to accomplish a lot in a relatively short amount of time. We've already sent humans to live in space and to the moon. We've developed massive and very sophisticated telescopes and have sent robotics to Mars. Many organisations have decided to take it a step further. The European Space Agency and NASA have been working very hard to find out if we're completely alone. Today we have a big number of projects that are made to scan the stars for signs of intelligent life. Despite our efforts we have yet to make contact. However this is mainly due to the fact that the universe is massive. The number of known star systems and planets keeps on expanding. Scientists have many theories about why we haven't found any intelligent extraterrestrial life, or why they haven't found us. Since we haven't made contact yet, one of the theories suggests there must be something stopping life from communicating with other alien species. The barrier we speak of is also known as the Great Filter. Great Filter is described as an event or a force that stops certain civilizations from getting close to interstellar communication or travel. Recently there's been talk about exoplanet Bernard Star B. This is the closest one to Earth and it's thought it could hold life. Scientists from the University of Pennsylvania said the following. Geothermal heating could support life zones under its surface, akin to subsurface lakes found in Antarctica. We note the surface temperature on Jupiter's icy moon Europa is similar to Bernard's star B, but because of tidal heating Europa probably has liquid oceans under its icy surface. The most significant aspect of the discovery of star B is the two nearest star systems to the Sun are known to host planets. As mentioned Europa is attracting a lot more scientific attention than for good reason. Europa is the smallest out of four Jupiter's large satellites, but it seems it might be the most important one too. Looking at Europa it might be a possible host of new unknown life. As the brightest moon in our solar system Europa is actually entirely covered with ice. The surface of Europa is pretty strange. It looks like broken glass and has no craters at all. According to the researchers, by studying Europa's density it's pretty obvious that it has a lot of ice, which means there's a lot of liquid too. Certain models of Europa show there might be oceans as deep as 50 kilometers under the 5 kilometer crust of ice. As many of you know organic carbon is the key building block of life, along with water, oxygen and nitrogen rich atmosphere. These are key elements that have to be present for life to grow and thrive. Recently scientific studies have shown there could be several spots in our solar system that could hold life, but it's still thought that Europa is the most likely. Researchers and scientists believe Europa's water is in contact with the moon's core. This means that it could be possible for chemical reactions to happen. Some have theorized that if we broke through the ice and into the ocean it could be teeming with life. Europa is a geologically active world, and we know this because NASA's Hubble telescope has taken photographs. It's not a matter of whether life is out there, it's more a question of will we ever make contact. In the Milky Way galaxy alone there's over 100 billion planets. In fact researchers have come forward and said that that number is on the lower end of the spectrum. They believe there could be more than 10 trillion planets in our galaxy. In the observable universe there's estimated to contain 200 billion or 2 trillion galaxies. This gives you an idea to how vast the universe is. It's very likely there's over a septillion planets in the observable universe. So what do you guys think? Bearing in mind how many planets there are out there, do you think it's likely that other forms of life exist? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Homo sapiens is part of a group called hominids, which were the earliest human-like creatures. Based on archaeological and anthropological evidence, researchers have come forward and said that hominids diverged from other primates somewhere between 2.5 and 4 million years ago. This would have been in eastern and southern Africa. Though there was a degree of diversity among the hominid family, they all shared the trait of bipedalism or the ability to walk upright on two legs. However, one thing that's been unknown for many years is the missing link. The missing link was a way to describe an extinct creature halfway in the evolutionary line between modern human beings and their ancient relatives. This came about when Charles Darwin said that humans descended from existing species of apes. Of course this theory is wrong, and it's now accepted that humans and apes are similar due to a common ancestor. Recently researchers have made an incredible discovery. 
a discovery has been made that details a nine-year-old boy who tripped over a rock in South Africa. According to the recent study, this has led researchers to discover a missing link in the human evolution. The findings have helped us to fill in a gap in humankind's history. It's believed this specimen can be placed between the three million old skeleton of Lucy and the handyman Homo habilis. Homo habilis is a species of the genus of Homo, which lived during the Pleistocene period. The remains of Australopithecus sedaba may be one of the most significant discoveries of recent time. Researchers were able to find two skeletons of the new hominid species dating back two million years. These discoveries have helped us to understand unknown stages of early human development. Australopithecus means southern ape, a genus of hominins which lived around two million years ago. Researchers have now come forward and said that these hominins are closely related to the Homo genus. Scientists have said they were able to walk on two feet, but would have spent most of their time climbing trees. It's only now we're starting to understand our complex evolutionary history. We have found out they could have lived in trees for long periods of time. Why they did this could have been for several reasons. For example, it could have been because food was plentiful, or because they wanted to stay away from predators. A study of their hands showed they were capable of powerful gripping. This study has allowed the researchers to view this species in great detail. In recent years, we have found many incredible artifacts all over the world. Some of them could even change and rewrite the histories we know it. Most of the artifacts that have been found are highly controversial. Our discovery of new and unique artifacts is never ending, and they easily defy our current understanding of history. We have found many jewels, pottery, arts and stones. We've even found certain items that manage to confuse the most experienced archaeologists. Each time we find something new, it brings out many questions. Most of them remain unanswered, but we still hope to get a bit more information that could help us resolve the puzzle. A few years back, scientists discovered a 40,000-year-old artifact. After first seeing the object, they couldn't work out what it was. However, after further study, it turned out to be a bracelet. Further studies, however, showed that this wasn't any ordinary bracelet. It was created by ancient people who appeared to be much more advanced than first thought. The piece of jewellery which experts claim to be the oldest ever found is even more unique because of the sophistication used to make it. Archaeologists have said its creator used revolutionary technology for the time period, including a tool similar to a modern drill. Dr. Divyanko, director of the Institute of Archaeology, said the following. The ancient master was skilled in techniques previously considered not characteristic for the Paleolithic era, such as speed drilling, boring tool type grinding and polishing with leather and skins of varying degree of tanning. This artifact was discovered close to the Denisova cave in Siberia. This site is named after the Denisova people, and it's a place known to have well-preserved remains. This new evidence has given us an insight into how these ancient people crafted. The skills used to create the bracelet were so advanced that researchers originally believed that it must have somehow gotten mixed up with materials from a much later period. The bracelet was discovered in 2008. Scientists put it through over seven years of testing, and confirmed it was made over 30,000 years before the Stone Age even began. The researchers said the skills of its creator were perfect, and there was someone who was very skilled in what they did. It was even speculated at one point it was made by modern humans. It's now known that its creator was an extremely gifted Denisovan. It's discoveries like this that show us how intelligent previous civilizations were. The bracelet is currently displayed at the Museum of History and Cultures of the People of Siberia and the Far East of Russia. Researchers have recently come forward and said that humans can detect sounds and light on a quantum scale. There are parts of the study that suggest the ear could be able to discern vibrations on the same scale as a photon vibrating in the green spectrum. This has made some people think this could explain why some people have almost supernatural abilities. For example, there are those that say they can hear colours or even taste words. The researchers are still working on the study and will be releasing new information soon. What's interesting is that this shows us how little we know about our own bodies. For years, people have been saying that the human body is more than it appears, and this study could back up those claims. The human brain and dreams have long been a mystery. 
Why do we dream and what do they mean? Over the years we have made massive progress in science, but one area that still raises many questions is how the brain sees our dreams. They only know that we dream and that our brain translates them into moving pictures. Different researchers and scientists have interpreted dream states differently, with some suggesting the function of dreaming was to allow the brain to express certain desires, while others suggest dreams are a natural expression of our imagination. Psychologists believe that dreams can be littered with symbols, meanings and attempts being made by your subconsciousness to help you with something in your life. One of the most common dreams had that can take on the form of many different symbols but shares a common theme is finding yourself being chased by another object, entity or person. If you find that you are having consecutive dreams involving this theme, it could mean that you are avoiding an issue in your life that requires confrontation. The brain itself is one giant mystery. How do the 100 trillion neuro connections in our brains work together to create the feeling of being alive? Many great thinkers consider consciousness to be the biggest mystery not just of the human body but the biggest ever. Any single brain including yours is made up of atoms that were forged in the hearts of countless far-flung stars billions of years ago. These particles drifted for eons and light years until gravity and chance brought them together. These atoms now form your brain that can not only ponder the very stars that gave it birth, but can also think about its own ability to think, and wonder about its own ability to wonder. With the arrival of humans, it's been said the universe has suddenly become conscious of itself. This truly is the greatest mystery of all. Aside from being one of the largest of the known carnivorous dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus rex is the dinosaur that has received the most media exposure. The Tyrannosaurus rex had the strongest bite of any land animal, even harder than we previously thought. When computer simulations were used to simulate the T-Rex's bite, the results were quite surprising. The results were a maximum bite force of almost 13,000 pounds, about the equivalent of an adult's T-Rex's body weight chomping down on its prey. This means the Tyrannosaurus rex has earned the title of the hardest biting terrestrial animal ever known. This figure was 2-3 to three times greater than previous estimates, 6-7 to seven times greater than the bite force they calculated for the dinosaur Allosaurus, and around 3.5 times greater than the hardest bite measured by an Australian saltwater crocodile. This giant predator lived during the Cretaceous period from 83 million to 66 million years ago. The Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs that ever lived. It measured up to 43 feet long and weighed as much as 7 tons. One thing the T-Rex is known for is its small arms. Paleontologists studying them have said that due to their size they wouldn't have been very useful. It's thought the arms were small in regards to the rest of the body because they simply weren't needed. The bite of this predator was so powerful they didn't need any extra help. Even though they were small, it still believed their arms were quite muscular, and were able to bench press around 400 pounds each. The king of the dinosaurs needed thick neck muscles to hold up its large skull, and power its forceful bite. The anatomy of the Tyrannosaurus rex was mostly muscle and this meant it was able to become top of the food chain during its time. T-Rex teeth were not that sharp when compared to other predators. This is because instead of gripping prey, their teeth would have been used to simply crush its prey. One way to tell a T-Rex tooth from another theropod is by looking at the thickness. They have a deep profile and this would have been for withstanding all the pressure the skull put on them. We know that over the past 20 years scientists have proved that some species of dinosaurs had feathers, but what many have questioned is what Tyrannosaurus rex had. We have discovered that relatives of Tyrannosaurus did have feathers. These were smaller ancestors of the T-Rex and would have roamed around during the early Cretaceous period. Fossils of these relatives have shown stage 1 feathers. These are fine feathers as opposed to full feathers seen in modern day birds. It's thought that Tyrannosaurus rex did not have feathers, but rather was covered with small protruding feather like spines on the skull. One thing scientists have discovered is that T rex did leave behind scaly skin impressions. More research is happening as of right now to try and come to a conclusive answer. Another mystery was that did Tyrannosaurus rex always have its teeth outside of its mouth, or did it have limbs? This may sound like a stupid question but it's a valid one. In most artistic drawings we see the predator has its teeth out. The current evidence suggests that if the dinosaur did not have a beak then it would have had some kind of soft tissue covering the teeth. 
An abstract from the 2016's annual meeting of the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology said the following. The evidence from the study of fossil teeth enamel suggests the teeth were covered. One of the first people to bring this up was paleontologist Robert Rees. He suggests that theropods' teeth were not visible all the time. He states the teeth would have been hidden and covered by scaly limbs. It seems funny trying to imagine this because we're so used to seeing them with their teeth out, but these recent findings do point to them being hidden. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.